Welcome to Revelation Unraveled. I'm your host, William Tapley, also known as the Third Eagle of the Apocalypse and the Co-Prophet of the End Times. This is the second part of our two-part series on Biblical Hermeneutics, the interpretation of the Bible. Specifically, we are going to take a look at End Times Hermeneutics, which is different from the interpretation of the rest of Scripture. End Times Hermeneutics has two important features. First, the numerology is very important, and second, the symbolic meaning takes precedence over the literal meaning. Let's take a look at the Rosary in both the Old Testament and the New Testament. First, let's look at the numerology of the Rosary itself. First, there are ten Hail Marys in each decade. There are five decades in a mystery, and there are three mysteries in the complete Rosary, the joyful, sorrowful, and glorious mysteries. Now, Pope John Paul II added a fourth set of mysteries called the Luminous Mysteries. Those additional four mysteries are very important because they signify the end times. Four is a very important end times number. When we start our analysis of the Rosary in the Old and New Testaments, let's begin at the beginning in the book of Genesis, chapter 3, verse 15, where God tells the serpent, I will put enmity between you and the woman, between your seed and her seed. You shall strike at her heel, and she shall crush your head. Notice that this is the third chapter, 15th verse. 3 and 15 are, of course, rosary numbers. Now let's look in the Old Testament at David versus Goliath. Good versus evil, against overwhelming odds. David only used five smooth pebbles and a slingshot. But David only needed one pebble. One of the five was all he needed. But God had him choose five smooth pebbles in order to prefigure the rosary. The slingshot that David used, that signifies the scapular. The rosary and the scapular will be our two main weapons against the Antichrist. David, of course, it prefigures Jesus in this last battle, and Goliath prefigures the Antichrist. Now let's look at another story from the Old Testament, and that is the book of Esther. Esther took on Haman, who was another prefiguring of the Antichrist. Haman was hung with a rope that was 50 cubits long. Now this numerology is not accidental. Those 50 cubits symbolize the 50 Hail Marys in a rosary. The hangman's noose around Haman's neck prefigures the scapular, which we wear around our necks for protection against the Antichrist. Esther's victory over Haman occurs on the 15th day of the month of Adar. Now, Adar was, in that calendar, the last month of the year. Consequently, we should understand that Esther is an end times story. And of course, the 15th day again prefigures the rosary as our victory over the enemy. Moving now to the New Testament, let's look at Peter's miraculous draft of fishes. Peter caught 153 fish. Again, that prefigures the rosary. Why is this story a prefiguring of the end times? because Peter has to wade through the turbulence of the water to reach Jesus, just as we have to wade through seven years of tribulation to reach the millennium. Notice that Peter throws on a cloak to jump into the water. This is highly unusual to put clothing on to enter water. That's because the cloak, again, symbolizes the scapular. The rosary and the scapular, once again, are the two weapons we have against the Antichrist. Notice that the boat is 200 cubits from shore. This indicates that all four mysteries of the Rosary, including the new luminous mysteries, will be important in the end times in taking on the Antichrist. 
because four mysteries contain 200 Hail Marys. Now let's take a look at the book of Revelation. The 15 end time chapters are numbers 6 through 20. Again, notice the number 15. In the book of Revelation, Mary and her spiritual seed are once again mentioned, as they were back in the book of Genesis. And they are carried to protection in the desert on the two wings of an eagle. Now back in Exodus chapter 19 verse 4, the author says on the wings of an eagle. But St. John makes a distinction here. He says on the two wings of a great eagle. That's because once again he is signifying the rosary and the scapular. These are the two wings that will protect the remnant Catholics as they flee into the desert away from the Antichrist. Let's look at how the rosary is prefigured in the Olivet Discourse. In St. Matthew's chapter 24, he divides up the 18 tribulation verses into a 666 pattern. And the following victory verses, he divides up into a 555 pattern. That is not accidental. The false prophets will tell you that these verses were numbered later. But you can't change the sentence structure. There are countless uh, translations of the Olivet Discourse. But notice that the verse numbers are the same in all of them. There is tremendous significance here. The Rosary 555 defeats the Antichrist 666. You can find this same pattern even in the Old Testament, in the book of Daniel, chapter 11. He has 45 verses. The first 12 are divided into a 444 pattern, the next 18 into a 666 pattern, and the last 15 into a 555 pattern. It should be obvious by now that the hermeneutics of end times prophecy makes extensive use of numerology and the fact that symbolism takes precedence over literalism. In these end times, you must remember to pray your rosary every day, all 15 decades, if you want to take part in our victory over the Antichrist. Now, if you would like more information, simply write to the address you see on your screen.